Welcome to this video. Look at this. Is this great? This is the so-called forward navigation. With a double click you can forward directly to another object within SAP ERP and SAP S4 HANA. And with the F3 key or this green button you can jump back. Is that cool? Great. So in this video I would like to show and explain you all about the forward navigation. And in my opinion this is one of the most important trick in SAP ERP and SAP S4 HANA. So enjoy this video and let's get started. So here I am in the transaction My Roam. It's a transaction to post incoming invoices in SAP ERP and SAP S4 HANA. And for example, within here I can use the F1 help. So to do this, for example, here I set the focus on one element in the DIMPRO. So you can see this with this red frame and then I hit the F1 key on my keyboard. And then over here the performance assistant will open up and then here a little <laughs> short text will occur about the company code. But within the toolbar here you can open up the technical information. And over here you have different information shown so for example about the screen data GUI data field data and so on and for example here we can see the data element so cz text and with double click directly on this information you can jump into the abap dictionary so in the transaction code se11 and you can directly see some detailed information about the data element so what is the alternative so if we're jumping one step back with a three key or this back button and then you could also copy this text so you select it then you use ctrl c and then you can open up the se11 and under data type you type it in and click on display so this is the alternative i think a, a couple of steps more to do so we close this for a second and um, you can as an alternative use the forward navigation so double click then you can jump into the associated transaction in this case the ABAP dictionary and once again if you would like to get to know more about the domain the use domain then you can double click on this domain and then you will directly jump into this instead of open up the transaction code and seeing some detailed information and if you notice know then Please comment in the section because um, at some point, as we see right here, the forward navigation is being used because in here you see that this information has an underline. Um, without looking in the ABAP code, I can't see if the forward navigation is supported or not because here we can see it is it uh, has an underline. Then we can double click. The forward navigation is supported. But if we're going a couple of steps back, then here we see that this data element is not underlined. So if you know it, how you can analyze if the forward navigation is supported just looking on the information. I love to to know this. Please put it in the comment section. But um, if you're working with the SAP system, you will get familiar where the forward navigation is supported. Just try it out. Uh, use double click um, and analyze the object. See if the forward navigation is supported because it's really useful in the daily work with the SAP system. Because, for example, here it's quite technical. So um, if you, for example, are in a different transaction so for example the ME23N it's a transaction code to display purchase orders and here for example once again the same behavior we can see that the vendor is here if I double click on the vendor ID then I will jump into the transaction BP so normally it will direct me into M. K03 to display vendors, but it's obsolete. And here you can see some detailed information without opening up the associated transaction. So if I'm going one step back, here we can see that the material number has an underline. So the forward navigation is supported. Double click and then 
and you will jump into the transaction to display material information. So once again, F3. So for example, if I double click on short text, then no forward navigation, I'm double clicking and the forward navigation is not supported. Of course, to what should it uh, navigate? That's, that's, that's clear. So for example, if I double click on plant here, the forward navigation is not supported. So I recommend to just try it out, double click on some information, um, what you like to, to get to know more about instead of opening up the transaction code. It's, I think it's worth trying. And again, if you know how to analyze it, I love to learn this. As an ABAP developer, you can also use the forward navigation and this is really useful. So here I am right now in the ABAP editor, so in transaction code SE38, but you can also use this, for example, in the function builder in transaction code SE37, in the class builder SE24 or in the object navigator, so in the SE80. And here, for example, we have one variable lv underscore host. And if you double click on this name, then you will jump to the declaration, so to the definition of this variable. And what you also can do as an alternative, you can use, for example, control and click, then use control F, and then you can hit the enter key also to search for this use name and then jump to the definition but i think it's easier and faster to use the forward navigation with a double click and for example if you are in here and you double click on the s y minus host and then you will jump again to the above dictionary se11 see some detailed information and in your daily work in the development this is really useful instead of just opening the above dictionary the class builder whatever in a different or separate mode in a separate window this is great you should really use forward navigation also in the above editor and if you like this video please hit the like button add a comment and subscribe to this youtube channel to never miss great upcoming videos in the future thank you very much and have a great day